Hi, my name is Yusuf Salavar, and I'm the managing partner of Antler in Asia and one of the co-founders. We are coming to you from Indonesia and to all of our founders, partners, investors and community, welcome to the Antler Southeast Asia Demo Day. Antler is a global venture capital firm enabling and investing in the world's most exceptional people, building the defining companies of tomorrow. We do this through our global early stage investment platform. Antler is located in 25 major startup ecosystems across six continents. Since launching in our headquarters in Singapore in 2018, we have invested in more than 500 companies. Despite the current global geopolitical unrest and challenging macroeconomic environment, we could not be more excited for what the future holds. We have recently committed to investing $100 million in early stage startups over the coming years in the Southeast Asian region alone. Southeast Asia is a breeding ground for innovative startups, and we want to give exceptional founders the investment, support, and expertise they need to realize their visions from the earliest stages. It is our ambition to help unlock and accelerate technological innovation in the region, and we are excited about the positive impact the founders we enable and invest in will create over the coming decade. Tonight, you are going to hear from founders of the newest additions to our Southeast Asia portfolio pitch. These exceptional teams have built their startups for the needs of organizations and consumers in an increasingly digital world where work, social interaction, and business processes are ever evolving. After each pitch, please click on the Get in Touch button for the startup you would like to connect with. You can provide feedback, express your interest in investing, collaborating, or becoming their next customer. Once again, welcome and enjoy the show. Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Windy and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Kalbu. We are an Islamic mental well-being app where we integrate Islamic values with modern clinical practices to help Muslims find peace. Nearly 50 million Indonesians have the potential to experience mental health issues. However, the conversation around it still carry a negative stigma, especially on its relation to faith. 70% of Muslims we talk to experience mental health issues and 96% of them has heard the saying, if you suffered mental health, it means you have a weak faith. To top that off, not all modern techniques or tools out there are in accordance with Islamic law. Taking the story of Tania, who was diagnosed with depression, she was being told by her psychologist to hug herself while listening to meditation with sounds and words that she did not understand, she was very uncomfortable and afraid that it was shirk. Shirk is an action of worshipping other than Allah and is considered to be a major sin in Islam. And that is why we create Kalbu, a faith-based mindfulness and mental well-being app where we use evidence-based approach while also integrating values from the Quran and Sunnah, making the link between faith and well-being into an actionable solution. As a user, you're going to be started with a well-being goals and assessment. This is to ensure that you're being matched with the right care at the right moment. And we're going to use a three-tier approach, with the first one being personalized self-care tools and modules, followed by facilitated community with both psychologists and scholars, and the last one is one-on-one -on -one coaching and counseling sessions. We've launched our MVP in the past few weeks and have managed to get more than 700 active users with a 50% week-on-week growth and 31% engagement rate. We have also managed to gather more than 2,000 app waiting lists while partnering up with more than 25 partners. So why build this now? There is an increasing trend in mental health awareness, both globally and also in Indonesia, and secondly, we see there is a growing evidence that shows Muslims suffer mental health issues more than other faith communities. And lastly, where is the best place to start a Muslim mental health app other than in Indonesia, as we are the number one country with the most Muslim population in the world? 
We can also see that there is a rise of faith-based well-being app with Halo and Glorify. But as you can see here, that there is not yet an Islamic well-being app, and that is where Kalbu wants to come in. We're going to start here locally in Indonesia, but envision our brand to become the global leading Islamic well-being app. Our target market consists of global Muslim millennials and Gen Z, but what's interesting here is that we're not limited to serve only Muslim who suffer mental health issues, but also general Muslim who wants to reconnect and get closer to God, making it a huge market opportunity. Even when we tap only 5% of the market, we're going to touch 24 million Muslims with a revenue of more than $800 million. And the way we're going to monetize this is through freemium model, where our premium users only need to pay 2.9 US dollar per month. With freemium model, we need growth. So this is our 18 months roadmap. It propels us from where we stand right now as a platform with community features and class offerings into launching our mobile app, then working with Muslim creators and influencers before expanding regionally to Malaysia, Brunei, and Pakistan as our first step to dominate the global market. And we have the best team to make this happen. Both me and Arjun has years of experience in growth, marketing, product, and tech, and both of us are also practicing Muslims. So if you're interested in digital Sharia economy, come talk to us. We're currently seeking for seed investment and strategic partners to join us in our journey to become the global leading Islamic well-being app. Thank you. Everybody. My name is Dr. Stephanie Jurgens, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of CareNow. CareNow is the first and only healthcare pay later here in Indonesia. I've been a doctor for the past 15 years here in Indonesia, and if I've noticed one thing, it is that patients very often keep on delaying their treatment due to high cost and inflexible payment options. So this year, just to give you a rough picture, is just a short list of all the procedures which are not covered by BPGS, which is the national healthcare insurance, or even private insurances. And if you just take the first point on this list, dental care, which also includes braces, you all know that braces are very, very, very expensive. I mean, usually in Jakarta, braces cost round about 10 million, and let's assume that you make a very good income here in Jakarta of 20 million. That means half of your income is already gone just for getting braces. And you still have your, to pay your utilities, your car, your cost, and so forth. So that's really insane, right? So wouldn't it be much nicer if you could just break up those huge medical bills into smaller monthly installments of, let's say, maybe one million per month? Well, this is exactly what we do at CareNow. We help you, the patient, to break up your huge medical bills into smaller monthly installments to make healthcare more affordable and accessible to you. So how does it work, you might ask? It's very easy. We have a web app and you can sign in there. It will take you max one or two minutes. It's very easy where we have handle everything in the back end. For our business model, we charge the patient a very small admin fee as well as an MDR fee to our healthcare providers and a late fee if the patient decided to pay late. We have been online now for the past one month and we have been grown from our healthcare providers 100% week on week. Additionally to that, we have 87 other healthcare providers on our waiting list, waiting to be onboarded onto our platform to give their patient this amazing feature. Just to give you a little teaser, we have also secured $161,000 US dollars worth of revenue from just one clinic chain within the next six months. So now you can do the math yourself. What would happen if we would basically have this contract with all our healthcare providers? And the feedback we've gotten from our healthcare providers is that they do love us. Because now, with CareNow, they can finally offer a much more holistic and complete care to the patient, because you deserve it. So why are we the best team to pull this off? Because I, I'm the doctor, I've been in Indonesia, as I mentioned, 15 years. I do know the ins and outs of the healthcare system. Andrew, my co-founder, who I met in the Antler program, he's a second-time founder, and he's very, very smart if it comes to finance. And it didn't take us very long until we onboarded our CTO, Alex, who has a degree from Carnegie Mellon University in machine learning. So we do cover healthcare, finance, as well as technology, everything we need to make care now possible. 
So our vision for the next year is that we want to have partners with additionally 200 more healthcare providers. Also, we would have liked to expand our treatment portfolio, especially focusing very much on maternity, meaning everything pregnancy-related, female reproductive health, um, also which includes IVF, which stands for in vitro fertilization. This would all uh, end up to an analyzed GTV of 5 million US dollars next year around. So that's why right now we're looking for seed investment and strategic partners, preferably in the healthcare as well as in the finance sector, to make our vision possible and to support us. So if you're interested, please feel free to contact us and thank you very much. Hi everyone, we are Geekswolf. We're building gaming hub that can connect blockchain games with the real gamers. Gaming industry is really huge. It grew very significant in the past 20 years. Even right now, the market of gaming is twice bigger than music and film combined. The growth of the industry is driven by eSports. But the next driver, we believe, will be play to earn. Because the concept is changing from only people can make it to everyone can make it. Speaking of market, Indonesia is third largest gamer population in the world with 116 million of gamer contributing 45% of Southeast Asia gamer population. To give perspective how big is it, Axie Infinity, the most popular blockchain game, only have 8.3 million. Can you imagine if we can onboard those Indonesian and Southeast Asia gamer to the blockchain? The impact is gonna be huge. But there are three problems that currently be facing by, by the gamers. First, Web3 is too complicated. They are gamers, they just want to play. Need to install wallet, accent, etc. Just make them push away from blockchain games. The second reason is there is no localization. Believe it or not, only 15% Indonesian that can speak English. So localization is mandatory if you want to acquire those real gamers. The third enterprise, too expensive. It's time to change. In Geekswolf, we won't enable gamer to have easy access and fun way into Web3 games. Why? Because blockchain games need a real gamer. Proudly to present Geeksoft Arena, Southeast Asia Focus, the gaming hub that can connect real gamers to blockchain games. What we provide, we provide tournament and quests, game discovery and news. Let me run through the journey. It starts with very simple process. Just create an account in our platform. Only using Google email, you will directly have decentralized wallet in app, which is becoming a gateway into Metaverse or Web3 games. Next, you can participate in tournament, both Web2 and Web3 games. You can invite your friends, play together, and grow your gaming club together. All your performance recorded in our leaderboard, which later on you can use as a showcase to be recruited by professional esports team, by brand or other guild that looking for scholars. You also can have additional income by participating in quests from our Gamify partner. And the good part is we provide fiat off ramp, so you can easily withdraw all the crypto reward you get from the Geeksoft ecosystem to your bank account. Here's what we achieved so far. In just a couple months, we grew from 80 community members to 12,000 community across social media channel. We also revenue generating company already with 15,000 US dollar in cumulative GMV and already have showing interest by gamers by 500 registration. Besides the traction, we also built essential partnership. Now we are officially part of Blockchain Game Alliance. We already partner with a lot of game studio, esport media, and Web3 gaming infrastructure. All the traction and partnership we built, we believe make us ready to the next step which bringing millions of gamers to Web3 games. We will continue to build the community and accelerate the demand even further to achieve our vision to be number one Southeast Asia Metaverse go-to-app platform. Since we are bridging between Web2 and Web3 games, we earn revenue from both gaming environment. We earn from play to earn, in-app commission, and also event and promotion. We are the right team to build this. We are conscious of team that proven builder that already in space for 
eight more years. Myself as CEO has co-founding experience and two time grew company from zero to series A company. Meanwhile, my co-founder Budi already in Web3 space since 2016. Proudly to mention, we also backed by Antler and Raditya Pramana, partner of Ventura. We're raising seed investment and we're looking strategic VC or advisor that believe on blockchain gaming, understand Indonesian market and Southeast Asia market. That's all from Geeksvolf. If you're interested to unlist the gamers to the next level, please reach out to us. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Adi Halim and I am the CEO and co-founder of Educo. When I took my bachelor's degree at the US for the first time, I stumbled upon the usage of LMS and it was really beneficial for me as a student. So when my entrepreneurship class professor asked me to bring back an idea to Indonesia, I know that this will be the idea. So coming back to Indonesia, we found a huge problem that is haunting the future of Indonesia as a country. As the country with the most schools in Southeast Asia, Indonesia currently ranks 71 out of 79 countries in PISA score. And after a discussion with 20 education authorities for the past 12 months, we have found a three reasons on that problem. The first one is lack of monitoring on students' performance. Second one is teachers are burdened with integrating administrative tasks. And the last one is there is no evaluation on schools' performance. So for these three reasons alone, we are creating Educo. Educo is an integrated learning management system to digitize Indonesia's K-12 education system. First, we will start by providing them with school performance dashboard. School performance dashboard will enable stakeholders for the likes of education authorities to monitor the real-time performance of every data within the institution. So all of the schools within their jurisdiction will be able to integrate it and then we will be able to provide them with a beautiful graph and easy to understand graph so that they will be able to analyze which student scores the best, which student scores the worst, which subject has the highest average, what's the year-on-year -year growth, and so on. But then we are not stopping there. We have also created an online report card. Online report card is available to provide students' performance to parents, schools, and authorities. And with online report card, Parents will be able to access their kids' academic progress anywhere and anytime with their smartphone. So this will be really beneficial for them. With these two features alone, education authorities and school loves and support our product very much. And it does translate very well to our traction. With our traction right now, we have eight letters of intents that have been signed and stamped by multiple education authorities. With our 8 LOI right now, we have more than 1 million worth of contract and we have 57,000 students that will be implementing our system in their school. But the future is still larger than what we have right now. Indonesia as a country alone, we have 55 million students, students with age range of 6 to 18 years old in Indonesia. However, we will start by prioritizing the tier 2 and tier 3 schools and mostly schools outside of Java which equates to 40 million students. And out of those 40 million students, we will grab 30% of the market share. We believe that we will be able to grab 30% of the market share because we have a number of partners who have strong and long relationship with the government itself. Our business model is pretty simple. We are a B2B and a B2G SaaS startup, and we are only charging one US dollar per month per student. And the reason why we are charging so low is because we want to be the most affordable yet the most complete LMS in the market. Aside from being the most integrated LMS, we also offer the customization that the school needs in Indonesia. However, we will also presenting a global comparables to you. Uh, for the likes of class technologies in the US have raised 800 million US dollar since first year since their launching. Also respectively, we also have LMS in China that has been valued by 10 billion valuation. Our team with the Revenue that we have generated from our sales, we have grown from a team of four into a team of 14. And me, myself, I have previous experience in a B2G and a B2B SaaS startup in Indonesia, whereas my co-founder Raymond have more than five years of experience as a software development 
in the US. And to further scale our growth, we are looking for a seed investment, but more than a seed investment itself, we are looking for a strategic partner that can connect us to the right person at the right time and to make sure that we will be able to grab the 30% market share as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, we're Ziwa and we help unfulfilled Gen Z and Millennials improve their well-being through experience-based learning. Have you ever felt that your life is not fulfilling? It might be due to lack of deep connection with others, you're unhappy with what you're doing, or even you're feeling stuck and not progressing with your life. I'm sure many of you have been in a similar situation and that affects your mental health especially in a work environment where these three factors can happen to many young professionals. Based on the research, 68% of people are willing to sacrifice salary, bonus, or promotion for greater well-being, mental health, and happiness. But when it comes to mental health issues, what's the most common solution out there? To talk to a therapist, right? And yet, how many of us have actually done that? In stigma-ridden countries like Indonesia, many Gen Z and Millennials continue to struggle with their life challenges without ever seeking help. We believe our solutions can solve this problem. We provide online and in-person group programs that help Gen Z and Millennials improve their mental well-being, all without the stigma around seeking professional help. Our programs utilize specially designed experiences that engage the learner's whole person so that they can understand themselves better and tackle their own issues. Other solutions in the market focus on traditional and individual therapy, where users are expected to invest their time and money without clear outcomes from the beginning. Individual therapy experience feels like you're all alone in this journey whereas our solutions will be more effective as our focus on group and transformational methods cut through the stigma by bringing more successful outcomes with co-accountability and providing a lifelong sense of belonging and support. We have hosted events and gatherings to build a solid community since May this year, which now has over 400 users. So far, we've managed to convert more than 80% of them to be our loyal community members, and around 49% actively connect and engage with each other. Our initial revenue is simple. As we grow our community, we'll be offering a one-month program where users can receive workshops, training, at, and coaching at $127. Eventually, we'll also offer this program to employers where we charge the same price per employee. We've seen a huge potential in the market. We only target the unhappy people amongst Gen Z and Millennials in the urban area, which is around 36% of the populations. In Indonesia itself, the projection could reach up to $3.6 billion. So with a 5% market share alone, we can already gain $181 million. Our target this year is to build the community and get over 2,000 members. Within two years, we'll be scaling our B2C division, and by 2026, we hope to reach around 4 million members. I came from a human resources background and previously worked within a startup environment. And together with my partner, Victor, who has built a couple of startups before, we both are very determined in solving this problem. In addition to our combined work experience and passion, we're also mentored by a strong practitioner in experience-based learning. And that makes us the right team to build Ziwa. So we're looking for angels and advisors who have coaching expertise, experience in self-development training, and are passionate about human potential. For VCs, we'll be actively fundraising next year. So if you're interested in the mental health space, we'd love to get in touch with you to discuss further about the opportunity. So join our journey and together let's deliver a well-being solution that actually works, making life worth living for millions. Thank you.
Hi everyone, I'm Patrick from Teroka. Teroka is a D2C infrastructure for content creators to launch their brand seamlessly. Did you know that creators always want to have additional income and monetizing their audience by launching and selling products? But 90% of them don't know how to start and execute. Please meet Kojek Rap, has 30,000 followers on Instagram, says that he is very busy so he never start building the brand that he always dreamed of. This is Custom Comic. With 300,000 followers on Facebook, hesitate to hire his team before making any revenue. And he feels building a brand is a very complicated process. And this is Nanda Gita. Has 700,000 subscribers on YouTube. Buri dream to start her own brand because she don't know how to do it. And with this problem and opportunity, we come up with Teroka, a D2C infrastructure for content creators to launch, manage, and scale their brands. In Teroka, Creators can get market insight of their audience, and then we recommend the most suitable product for that audience. After that, the creators can also track the production status from prototyping until the product is ready to be sold. If there's any transaction happen, Teroka will fulfill the orders on behalf of the creators, and the creators can manage their store and have a full view of the sales performance of their brand. And now, look at how happy their face are as Teroka helped them seamlessly to launch manage and scale their brands. We are very proud to tell you that we have 100% MOM growth in the last three months with total 35 creators that already signed up. Among them, there are big names like The Overtunes, Mahalini, Gabriel Prince, and Ewing HD. And the list is still growing as by now we are talking to 20 more creators that already shows their interest to join Teroka. To strengthen our position, we are partnering with the best player in the entertainment industry in Indonesia each of them agreed to use Teroka as their brand extension and help their talents to monetize their audience through product and brand. With our creators, start building brand. By now, we have total almost 50 million audience in four different social media platforms. With projected 0.1% monthly buy rate, we have a potential $500,000 monthly GMV. Our business model is simple. We charge creators 25% platform fee from every transaction that runs through Teroka. Our creators are happy with this because it is far below standard operational cost in retail industry. On the other side, we charge suppliers 7.5% from every production value. Based on Statista and Instagram data, there is around 3.6 million registered content creators in Indonesia that have minimum 10,000 audience. We aim to get 5% market share on this market, accountable for 180,000 creators in Indonesia. With projected 2,400 annual items sold per creators and with $10 average item price, it will generate us $4.3 billion GMV on annual basis. This is our step to become the first and the biggest D2C infrastructure in Indonesia. We aim to get our first $6 million GMV by 2024. Here I am Patrick, the co-founder and CEO of Teroka with 9 plus years experience in B2B partnership in major startup in Indonesia. Dimitri, as I met in Antler, has seven plus experience as product development in scalable B2B startup. Adding to the team, Dino Dinarga, who has mature experience digitizing supply chain process in Adidas Global Germany. To combine, our experience is full force to build Teroka. With this vision in hand, we are now looking for seeds investment and strategic partner. Together, we can be the first and the biggest deduce infrastructure for content creators in Indonesia and even in Southeast Asia. If you are interested to join us, please contact us. Hope to hear from each of you soon. Thank you very much. I'm Steven, CEO and co-founder of Blink, the next generation live commerce marketplace. We all enjoy consuming great contents, especially in video format. Based on latest research, 82% of global internet traffic will come from video. On the other hand, e-commerce has been accepted as a new way of life. However, as e-commerce becomes more prevalent, we're still seeing two unmet needs. First is the limited engagement, and second is the low conversion rate. The current e-commerce conversion rate is only at 3%. As video has become increasingly more important, we believe it can help us in solving these two issues. 
That is why we are building Blink, a live commerce marketplace that allows users to get entertaining shopping experience. So with Blink, user can discover unique products, interact live with seller and community, and lastly, they can buy and bid their desired products. Let me show you how it works. First, when users open the app, they can browse a live show to watch based on their interests. Once they enter the live room, they can hang out and chat live with their seller and community. Lastly, they can buy and bid their desired product. The overall process will allow users not only to shop, but also having fun in the process. Over the past months, we have conducted more than 150 plus live shows, and we have successfully generated $30,000 worth of cumulative GMV. This is in the back of onboarding more than 25 sellers and 800 plus registered users. We believe live commerce is the next wave of e-commerce revolution. In 2020, two thirds of Chinese consumers have shopped live and conversion rate is up to 10x compared to conventional e-commerce. And we believe the trend is coming to Indonesia as we are seeing growing awareness and adoption in live commerce. Indonesia e-commerce market is projected to hit $138 billion by 2025. If we assume five years time lag versus China, live commerce penetration will be at 10% in the next three years. This will translate into a $14 billion in live commerce initiated sales. If we assume 10% goes to bling, it will be a $1.4 billion in serviceable obtainable market. In terms of business model, we're gonna charge 7% as take rate from our GMV. This is will help us achieve $100 million in revenue by 2025. This is still a base case scenario, given other monetization channel that we can explore, such as advertising and value added services. We want to differentiate ourselves by becoming a live commerce focus and a curated store, where sellers have to be verified before getting on board to the platforms. Elsewhere in the US, what not, a, live, a standalone live commerce marketplace had done exceptionally well using this model. Our go to market strategy is a combination between community and commerce. We plan to build supply initially by focusing on community driven categories. Afterwards, we can acquire more users, expand to more categories, activate network effects, and reach scale. Michelle and I both have extensive experience not only in global companies, but also in e commerce companies such as Tokopedia and Lazada. And today, we are looking for investment to grab this 14 billion live commerce market opportunity in Indonesia. And we will not stop there. Our vision is to be Southeast Asia key e-commerce players where authentic connection and commerce happens. And we want you guys to join us in this exciting journey. Thank you. Sari Safiriani, CEO and co-founder Rich, all-in-one personal financial management apps for Indonesian urban young millennials and Gen Z. So let's meet Rizal. He's 25 years old. He wants to have his motorbike and he wants to have regular investment and he also wants to get married. Unfortunately, he cannot fulfill it at all because he has poor financial management. So I have seen this incident from the day I was working in credit card division in banking 15 years ago and still going on till right now. So now there's another 80 million results out there with the conditions that only 6% of them make have emergency fund for three months time, 52% of them make unnecessary spending, and if they're taking fintech lending, they will pay it late in 30 days. So Rich believe that everyone should be empowered and have equal access to financial planning to reach their goals. Hence, we will provide personal financial checkup and expense tracking to ensure they know their financial metrics, the tools to plan, track, and buy their dream products with real-time tracking, also the affordability analysis and personalized financial scenario along with the next month's spending impact analysis. So how it works? In rich healthy finance, this is where user can manage the money. So we will build up their financial profile from the questionnaires that we set out for them. 
and then they can have automatic and also manual tracking expense and they can turn into actionable items by set budgeting and reminders and there will be a real-time update and notifications on the home page. In the second model, reach their goals, this is where users can purchase directly in our apps, where they can see discovered best price. And what sets us different is that we provide not only the affordability analysis, but also we give them the personalized financial scenario, along with the spending impact analysis as well. And this is going to be our monetizations from the day one, because we will charge the users for the platform fees, and then we also gain the commission fees from the financial products, and we also can gain product referral fees from the dream products that we are selling. In terms of tractions, only within one month from our launching, we already gathered 3,500 downloaded users, with more than 1,500 registered users and more 1,200 active users. And we also have not notable number of partnership from banking and automotive dealer partners. The GTV itself is already generated 200k USD with 26k USD from buying automotive alone. And this is very little compared to the potential market size of 84 billion USD. That consists of the total market size of cars, housing, trip, and gadget, with some of 70% of them purchase loan. And if we only take 10% of it, we already have $5 billion. And our total projected revenue in 10 years, it will be 250 million USD. So Rich is the only player who combines product and financial product marketplace, along with PFM capabilities to offer the high personalizations. While the other competitors are only focusing on the PFM side and then sell one particular product and the remaining only becoming the financial product marketplace, which only puts selling product. We started out with launching our apps with the automotive use cases and PFM capabilities. Then we will add financial product marketplace, then we will enrich our goal planning use cases. Then at the end of the day, we're gonna be the first fintech enabled marketplace, which have on-site lending that can give financing to any user's purchase plan. So my name is Sari Safiriani. I have domain and business expert. I have combined 15 years working experience in financial and fintech industry. Together with Randy as an IT expert, he's been working in Grab, Zipcos, and IBM. Then he becomes serial entrepreneur after that. Then we also backed by a successful angel startup founder and advisor, Adi Rahadi, with his Series A funding startup, Maju Indonesia. So we are seeking for seeds funding and strategic partner to do market expansions and product development. And we are looking forward to have you on board in our journey to create Indonesia better economics. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Richard, CEO and co-founder of Enview, and we enable companies to do logistics better. In a digital world that we're living in today, it's hard to imagine that logistics remains a very manual industry, still running on pen and paper, emails, or through a bunch of WhatsApp group, just to coordinate day-to-day -day operation. This is because no company in the world owns the entire supply chain journey. Supply chain enabler exists to help companies distribute their products by coordinating and managing capacity providers, targeting big multinational companies with massive orders and nationwide coverage. SMBs cannot be served by these conventional solutions, leaving them no choice but to distribute their products using in-house capacity or managing a bunch of third party by themselves. Enview was set up for this massively underserved market, representing more than 80% of the total value chain in Indonesia. And managing the supply chain gives Enview full visibility this allows us to optimize several key parts. For merchants, we provide a logistics software to track and manage their distribution in real time. For operators, we provide a marketplace for job opportunities according to their capacity type and area capabilities. And just like a supply chain enabler, Envio facilitates end-to-end -end logistics for its customers, acting as the coordinating layer and managing the complexity across the supply chain digitally. Because we control the entire user experience, we offer a better performance at the same cost. 
Through this model, we have built a massive network of partners across Indonesia, providing a multimodal service such as trucking, air ocean freight, and last mile deliveries, all utilizing NVO software to track and manage their distribution to provide a better efficiency and visibility. This ecosystem allows us to remain as a light while still being able to guarantee service level and reliability for our customers. We have successfully validated this model. Started in 2021, NVO has achieved massive growth, closing in revenue of more than $1.1 million last year and currently doing $3.3 million ARR this year, with a blended gross margin of around 20 to 25% and over 65,000 shipments to date. Because of our industry experience, we have first-hand insight on what our customer needs. Envio was founded by two founders with a passion and combined 20 years experience in logistics. It is not our first time either. I'm a two-time founder in this space, and joining me is Alif, a full-stack engineer specializing in supply chain ERP. We are only at the beginning of our journey, serving merely a tiny fraction of a $300 billion logistics industry, and that's why we need your help. Our mission is to unite the web of logistics to enable trade, so that businesses of all scale can focus on what they do best and let us deal with the rest. Join us as we iterate the digital logistics revolution. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Berta, co-founder of Lister. Did you know that in 2021, there were more than 12 million Indonesian adults had lost their career and study opportunities due to language barrier? A survey from OECD shows that three out of four were looking for a personalized course recommendation based on their skill gaps and career goals. It happened because each individual is unique and has different needs of study. However, the current solution for individual learning is just too expensive. And there is no existing platform to book personalized course in an easy and affordable way. So we created Lister, a platform where students can learn many languages using personalized approach. How does it work? Start with selecting their study target, including language and topic choices. They will get the best course recommendation with no hassle. Then, they will match with their ideal tutor to get personalized syllabus. And finally, they can join our live classes at the time that works for them. Our business model is buy on demand with a consistent gross margin of 55% for private class and up to 75% for group class. Within one and a half year of our existence, this business model has proven to generate impressive tractions. Today, we have reached $575,000 total GDP with our current monthly revenue $52K and gross profit $31K. About two-thirds of our revenue comes from organic SEO and repeat order. Besides, our LTV CAC ratio is 4 to 1, meaning for every dollar that we spend on customer acquisition, we got $4 back. And by far, we managed to handle more than 500 tutors and 1,500 monthly active students. Not only that, about 40 B2B clients and 35 partners coming from government, university, and corporation have been using our products and relying on our services. This is just the beginning of our success. As you see, the education market in Indonesia is huge. Every single year, about $7.6 billion were spent for language education. 20% of it was dedicated for foreign language. So we aim to acquire 10% of the market share, that is $153 million projected in 2026. And this is how we're going to compete in the market. Instead of focusing on generic syllabus, we differentiate our product by adding more value on personalized and specialized syllabus. Currently, there is no big player in this quadrant. So, in order to continue dominating this quadrant, we intend to expand our target market to K-12 and increase our revenue by 5x from 52 k dollars to 250 k dollars per month. 
And yes, we are the best team to execute the plan. Our team consists of people with strong expertise in different backgrounds, such as sales, digital marketing, education, and technology. And together with our prominent advisor, we are building the next generation of language super apps. Currently, we are seeking seed investment and strategic partners to accelerate our product with even more scalable technology. So if you are interested in helping more people achieve their dreams, let's connect. Together, we can create a bigger impact. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Theo, CEO of Academics. We are the first integrated training and placement platform for Indonesia migrant worker. I would like to start by stating that Indonesia cannot fulfill its labor market potentials. As the fourth most populous countries in the world, we only send 72K of migrant worker every single year. This is way below our neighbor Philippines that have only a third of our population but can send up to 10 times compared to our countries. By comparing this gap alone, we have a potential loss of $141 billion every single year. But why this is happening? While migrant workers with the same skills can earn up to six times of their salary, Indonesian workers are afraid and hesitant to work abroad because their skills are inadequate, the cost of processing is too high, with many extortions and scams along the way. So, our purpose as a company is to transform low-skilled worker into a highly skilled one and lead them to a better opportunity abroad. We do that by creating an educational ecosystem platform that help potential workers to connect, train, and getting hired abroad from wherever they are with just being online. Let me show you through our product journey. First, we connect potential worker with more than a thousand jobs that are available abroad. After picking one, the workers can learn and get certified all of the basic skill set provided by curated training institutions and delivered through a measurable learning platform. After the learning done and they get certification, we provide a hiring solutions by cutting the middleman and channeling the qualified worker directly to the hiring partner. With our solutions, we can assure that 100% of job orders that we receive are fully fulfilled with zero extortion and scam and having six times faster than the conventional one. And we're proud to say that in just three weeks after our MVP launch, we successfully generate thousands of official job orders enroll more than 250 students actively learning through our platform and having $13,100 revenue in contract. And these tractions align with the huge opportunity of global migrant worker in the total of $196 billion. So by targeting only 1% from our service attainable market, we receive $358 million as our target revenue in the following years. And to articulate the market, we have a simple yet profitable business model by receiving 20% revenue sharing from the training process and 2.5% from employee contract value. And we have an ambition to get 500,000 people to be placed by 2030. And to do that, we need to build crucial features and targeting $750,000 revenue in the next years. And speaking from the competitions, we are assured that there are no significant players today tapping into this area that combining education with specific placement abroad. And we want to dominate this area in the following years. And to actually make these things happen, we have a solid team that formed in late 2020 with 25 plus years of combined experience with me 
as the CEO with 10 plus years experience as a university lecturer. And IG as our technical leaders with 11 plus years experience as a software engineer. And we have Arshanda, Faisal, and Rizky that have strong business background in operation, business development, and creative and brand. Finally, we currently raising in seed and looking for investor partner that have strategic vision in education and labor market developments. So join us to fulfill labor market potential by retraining the low skilled workers in Indonesia and beyond. Thank you very much. everyone, I'm Fika, CEO and co-founder of HealthPro. Prior to HealthPro, I've been working as Head of Talent Acquisition and I was so struggling to get my talents ready like doctors, nurses, midwives, caregivers and others while well, there is a demand. And in fact, I'm not alone. We've been conducted interviews with more than 50 healthcare facilities and 90% of them are struggling through the manual hiring process. Even, they spend till three months to fulfill only one position. Not only there, they're also facing other problems like skill mismatch and limited budget to hire full-time. So, what we can do to help them? Here we are, we are HealthPro, we are online platform to hire local, flexible, and vetted hacker workers effortlessly. With HealthPro, the recruitment process will be faster three times than usual, even with the best quality of the healthcare workers because we do the curations. Not only there, we are 30% cheaper than their existing budget. So how does it work? Just as simple as the healthcare facility can post the requirements to HealthPro, review and approve the top quality candidates, monitor healthcare worker performance, and the most important thing is the payment will go to HealthPro first and HealthPro to, will help to disburse the payment to each healthcare workers. So with those value and the system that we currently have, we succeed get the trust from big hospital in Indonesia. Those hospitals are Columbia Asia Hospital, Mayapada Hospital, MMC Hospital, and others. Currently, we get six active healthcare facility with 50 healthcare facility in our pipeline, which get contract value for more than 250k dollars. In a just short few months, we get more than 11k for the GTV and 6,000 registered workers. Currently, we do the B2B2C, and we take 25% of reach margin. And which, which means get uh, more than $70 of rich profit per workers. So with those traction that we currently have, we still have more than $220 million awaiting us there. Those number we get from only take 5% of the healthcare facility expenditure for healthcare workers in urban city. But the question is, will those number are achievable for health pro? Yes, we are definitely confident to get those numbers since in Indonesia itself, there is still no major player. Besides, we are also focusing to be the most qualified healthcare worker platform with seamless process. Not like in Indonesia, in outside, there is these two, Tassel Health and also Kerif, which has similar business model like HealthPro, even exists in USA. These are the team. I'm Fika. I'm the CEO. I'm a registered nurse and have experience for more than four years in healthcare industry. Meanwhile, Randy Alfadi, expert in business development and also marketing, has experience for more than seven years. We've been working together for more than three years in another healthcare startup. And that's what makes us the best team for Health Pro. So with those experience that we currently have, we have big plan for Health Pro. Those plans are Currently, we do the B2B2C model and take the commission fee. But in further, we will do B2B and B2C as well and taking platform fee plus training fee to get hyper growth in 2023. In terms to hyper growth in 2023, we are targeting to get more than 30K registered workers with 2K active healthcare workers in 100 healthcare facility, which means get more than 500K for the monthly GM fee. So to achieve those hyper growth, we are currently looking for the seed investment and strategic partner. 
So that's all from HealthPro. Let's join us to become Indonesia superior healthcare professional platform. Thank you. And that's a wrap to another successful demo day where we get to witness innovation, new ways of doing things, and in the case of these founders, agility and grit like never before. The opportunities to innovate and positively impact the world are bigger than ever, and the leading companies of tomorrow are being built today. If you want to be part of the future and build a company, there is no better time than now. Our next Indonesia program starts in September 2022. If you're interested in joining our program and building your next company with Antler Southeast Asia, apply through our website www.antler.co. We are also always looking for amazing people to join our growing team. You can find out more about our open positions on our website. If you would like to get to know more about Antler, our funds, or partnering with us, get in touch via indonesia at antler.co. From all of us here in the Antler Southeast Asia team in Indonesia, thank you for watching.